when you're so done making your own thumbnails that you finally just catch the thumbnails and move on with your life. Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Shelby. What's up? This is my monthly favorites. It's really cliche, but I'm also a white girl wearing a tattoo choker in a five seconds of summer shirt. How much more cliche can I really get? Let's talk about that. I'm really out of focus. So this is my monthly favorites. I've never done one before and I'm super excited to do one this month because I have gotten so many products this month and I am ready to talk about them all. And some of them actually are like stuff I've had in the past but I've never actually used until now. So super excited to talk about these amazing products and let's get going. The first product I'm gonna talk about is probably my first ever holy grail foundation i have never found one until this moment that i love enough to be like oh i'm gonna keep rebuying it for like ever but this is definitely the one i'm going to keep rebuying for like the rest of time and that is the tart rainforest of the sea water foundation and this is it by the way pretty much all it is is it's just a liquid foundation that comes in this little weird pump thing and it goes on like a dream and it blends into your skin so seamlessly like it feels like you don't have anything on I'm wearing a BB cream right now I'm not actually wearing this but it is fantastic this is the shade fair neutral and fun fact I got Pantone swatch at Sephora and so they brought up all of the stuff that matches my particular swatch and this is an exact match for my skin which is amazing. I don't have the whole weird line of demarcation anymore and I don't really have to so heavily blend into my neck with this. So this is amazing. Would definitely recommend for anybody who's looking for a really nice, thank you, a really nice foundation. Next product is something that I have used in the past but I got, have gone, <laughs> next product is something that I've used in the past but I have gone back to now. I have strayed away from it for a while because it was kind of expensive but I got a two pack of these for forty dollars which is amazing considering two of these individually would be about sixty that is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray it's my favorite setting spray and honestly like I put Evian spray like the water spray on before I put this on so I do like Evian and I wait for it to dry I'll like fix my hair or do something and then I put this on and it makes your makeup last all day long it's really great for the price um I got of course the holiday two pack so I won't be able to do that anymore I'll have to buy it individually but it is amazing the next thing that I have in my favorites is the Maybelline falsies push-up angel mascara I love the falsies line I will literally try anything that comes out of it I love the original and the drama one the one with the lace at the top of the packaging and then the original push-up I really loved that I was really into that last year now they've come out with a push-up angel which has a wand that looks like this focus please and it's kind of got this weird spiky brush and it just scoops right up in your lashes and looks amazing they look incredible when you're done I'm gonna like zoom you in real quick too I can't do that okay I'm just gonna get real up close and personal my lashes are killing today and I have been using this for like a week and I am so into it it's not even funny all of the falsies products are honestly so great and this was not a letdown at all I have been waiting to get this for a while I don't know why but I finally got it and it's so good next product is the lime crime velveteen in the shade teacup i haven't actually worn this out anywhere yet but i have tried it on my lips and it is incredible one thing i put it on and for some reason it made my lips look so plump and so full without me having to like line them or overdraw them or anything they just look so full and it's so pigmented and not streaky at all like it's perfect and on top of that when I smiled wearing this my teeth looked so ridiculously white it is just a blue purplish blue kind of reminds me of the color of my dad's truck but not really color 
and it is gorgeous. I am probably going to wear this tomorrow, I think, because there's some blue in my shirt that I'm going to wear. But, yeah, teacup. The one I'm wearing right now is Trouble, which is this one. Um, I got a ton of these on Black Friday, and they finally came to me. I already had a few. I'm crying velveteens, but I have got more. And this is just an olive green color. It's kind of, I would say, like a sister to... Jeffree Star's Dirty Money because of course Dirty Money is like super super light but this is a darker olive green. Olive green is my favorite color so I have this now and I ordered Dirty Money so I'm excited for that to come in because they're my favorite colors and I happen to just really like the way olive green looks on my skin so I'm really excited to get the other lipstick and try it out. The next thing in my favorites is something I've had it for like a year. Like it looks so, so beat up and dirty and disgusting. But it is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Stole the Show. And it is a highlighter. I had so much trouble working with this initially. It's just a white highlighter with some sparkle in it. Some pink and purple and blue sparkle. I had so much trouble working with this originally that I didn't use it like at all. It just sat in my drawer. Because I couldn't get to apply with a brush without it patching up my foundation. I could not get it on with my fingers without smearing it everywhere and just messing it all up. So finally I saw Tati Westbrook apply a ColourPop highlighter with the Beauty Blender and I was like, mmm, gotta try that. Tried it the very next day. It was like completely planning on my makeup being ruined and it was perfect. I have it on right now. You can like really see it in this light glow into the gods. I love this highlighter. It feels so good. I just want to stick my whole hands in the ColourPop highlighter. This is swatched on the finger and then on my hand. Ah. Then you can't, you can't see it. What the heck? There we go. Then you can kind of see it reflecting on my hand. Um, They're so smooth like to the touch. I just want to like touch, put my fingers all in it. It's so amazingly soft. But it is just a really soft white and pinkish toned highlight. It's super pretty. I'm obsessed with this. I really want to get more of their highlighters now. They have a mint and green one. And all I can think about is mixing that with Dirty Money and putting like really like darker browns on my eyes. And it would be so freaking pretty. So I really just want to get that green one now or the blue one too and play with them. So well, yeah, I would recommend, but you have to use a beauty blender. You literally can't use anything else or it's going to be a mess. The next thing is something, again, I have been using for a long time. I started using this in February, but I never really religiously used it. It kind of just, I would use it periodically and I just never really made it an everyday thing. But I'm using it more recently than ever, like every day. I've gotten so many compliments on it and it is the Ragdoll Perfume. From Hot Topic it is from Disney and the Nightmare Before Christmas. You'd expect it to be kind of cheap smelling or gross because it's from Hot Topic and it's not a department store perfume but it is amazing. It smells incredible. <laughs> it has this floral scent. I'm not entirely sure. I meant to look up what it was actually like composed of and layered of but it's like a warm florally scent. And it's very sweet smelling and I just love the packaging Sally is too cute and it's an ombre package and I've used a little bit of it it was $20 at Hot Topic but I had it hot cash so I only really paid 10 bucks for it oh uh, now it's in my mouth <laughs> it's in my mouth anyway um I have three hot caches coming up that I can use after Christmas and I will definitely probably have to repurchase this because it is amazing I have gotten compliments on this every day that I've worn it since bringing it like back into my rotation so this was definitely a favorite of this month I also really like this because it is the only perfume I can wear that my mom and my brother's allergies don't act up with so like I can layer this on as much as I want to like two spritzes on my neck and then two on my wrists or whatever I want to do and it does not affect them so you know it's kind of light and more on the softer side when that's true so if you have allergies and you want something stronger than a body spray this is actually really perfect and it smells amazing. The last thing I'm going to talk about is something that I had wanted for years. Like since I was like 19 and I finally got it. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. 
it is just it has crazy fallout in the pans but it is just a six color pan that goes from light to dark and it is amazing I have it on my eyes right now with faint in my crease and then naked and Venus on my lid blended with Foxy I got the naked smoky palette two days ago I didn't like get it get it I have to wait for it to come in the mail but I'm so excited to have this I'm only missing two three I'm missing three naked palettes now which is the naked two basics the naked two itself and then the naked ultra ultimate basics the one with all the matte shades it's got that really pretty orange color I really want to try so yeah naked basics super great super pigmented super soft and I'm just gonna swatch which one's gonna show up the best I'm gonna swatch faint on the okay I'll just stick my whole hand in it swatch faint on the back of my hand super soft super pigmented and really fun to work with I really like basic palettes that only have a few colors in them because then you're not seeing they're looking like okay if I put this in with this is it gonna match like you're guaranteed that all of these are going to blend well together and I'm sorry blend well together and intersect really well so this is definitely a must-have for me right now I have to use this like every day because it creates the best neutral eyes ever you know, if I don't want a neutral eye, I always do Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer, but I am all about this for a natural eye right now. I have ordered a bunch of stuff, and I will get a bunch of stuff for Christmas, too. So my December favorites is going to be absolutely lit. I should not say lit. That's... I'm too white to say lit. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm super excited to go through the products I get for Christmas. I might do some first impression videos, but yeah, that is my November favorites. I hope you guys really liked it. If you liked it, like and subscribe and leave me comments, and I will try to respond to some of them, even though I've done really horrible about that in the past. Um, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, and you can add me on Snapchat down below. I really should put them in the video and create links. So thank you for watching, and bye guys.